A very good day to all of you. Before we begin today's class, let us just quickly revise what we all have learned in the previous classes. Can you tell what you learned in the last class? In the previous class, you learned about the text tool. Can you tell why we use the text tool in MS Paint? We use the text tool in MS Paint to be able to type or write something. Which are the special keys in the keyboard? Leaving aside the alphabet and the number keys, all other keys on the keyboard are special keys like tab, escape, control, etc. In MS Paint, why do we use the backspace key? Backspace key is used to erase any word, but remember that you can only erase the word which is on the left side of the cursor. In MS Paint, what is the use of the enter button? We use the enter button to go to the next line or to a new line. How many different types of arrow keys are there and what are they called? There are four types of arrow keys and these are used to move the cursor. They are called the up, down, left and right arrow keys. Why do we use the delete button in MS Paint? We use the delete button to erase words on the right side of the cursor. In MS Paint, what is the difference between delete and backspace? By using backspace, we can erase the word on the left side of the cursor, whereas with the delete button, we can erase the word on the right side of the cursor. Now, go ahead and turn on your computers. And next, open the MS Paint file. If any of you are still facing a problem in opening the MS Paint file, you can again watch the video. The other method which uses the shortcut command is as follows. You should first press the window button and the R button together. And this action will bring up the run command box. Within this box, without leaving any spaces, type in MS Paint and press the enter button. Instead of pressing the enter button, you can also take your cursor or pointer to the place where OK appears on the screen and press the left button. So by now, have you all been able to open the MS Paint file or no? By now, you all very well know that on the first day of the week, we learn something new and on the next day, we practice the same topics. Today, by watching the video, you will learn the use of the arrow key, backspace key and delete key. And after that, you will all be asked to type. In today's class, we shall type the names of fruits, vegetables, shapes, numbers and different objects. We begin today's class by typing in the names of the four fruits. Note that you have to write the names of all these fruits in a single box. Look at the picture and tell what do we call this fruit. So this is indeed a picture of an apple. So go ahead. Select the text tool and after watching the video, type out the name Apple. 
by watching this video we will be learning how to use the text tool and we will use the text tool to type the names of the fruits that we have learned so first we go and choose the text tool and then we come to the drawing area in the paint sheet and drag a rectangle as is being shown in the video so once you have selected the text tool the first word that we are typing with the help of the keyboard is apple once you have typed the word apple remember that each time that you are typing you should not type any anything outside the box so once you have typed the word apple we need to go to the next line to go to the next line use the enter button and we will press the enter key once to come to the new line look at the next picture and tell what is it called go to a new line and write banana we are now on the new line and we will type the word the next fruit's name banana and then again go into a new line use the enter key and what is this picture about what do we call this this is a picture of an orange so type orange in a new line so once we have typed banana our cursor is at the end of the word banana and then again go into a new line use the enter key and type the next word orange we will now learn with the help of a video as to how we can make use of the arrow keys in this box presently the cursor in your drawing is on the last line if you want to bring your cursor to the middle of the orange you will use the left arrow key if we want to bring the cursor to the second line first we go to the center of the word orange by pressing the left arrow key now your cursor is within the orange but next you want to take the cursor to the right of the banana what you need to do now is to press once the up arrow key and then make use of the right arrow key if we want to bring the cursor to the end of the word banana we will use the right arrow keys and this way our cursor comes to the end of the word banana now your cursor will be on the right side of the banana as is also shown in the video here press the backspace button once and notice that a gets erased if you press the backspace again n will also get erased so this is how you will be using the backspace key to erase now with the help of the up arrow bring your cursor to the first line this will bring your cursor to the middle of the word apple and here if you press the delete button once you will find that this action will erase the word on the right so you have just learned how to use backspace and delete keys now write the names of the given shapes look at the given picture and tell what is it called this is an oval or circle 
get a new box and type oval or circle. And next, go to the next line by using the enter button. Look at the given picture and tell what is it called. This is a picture of a triangle. Go ahead and type triangle. Look at the given picture and tell what is it called. This is called a square. Go ahead and type. Now you have to type the names of the objects. Look at the given picture and tell what is it called. Type the word home. Use the enter button and write blackboard. Type out the following words. Books. Rose. Laptop. Desktop computer. Sunflower. Football. And telephone. And now write out our Prime Minister's name. Now all of you need to write out about numbers. For example, if you have to write 1 in English, you will need to type O N E. And so your word will look like O N E 1. Just like this, you should be able to write all other numbers in words as in this example. As the next step, see the picture being shown and write its name. Today's class ends here. So all of you now properly close your MS Paint files and then properly shut down your systems and again if you are having any problems in doing this, watch the video and learn the method for shutdown. Let us now learn how to shut down your computer. Bring your pointer to the start button as is being shown in the video. Next use your mouse or touchpad to click on the left button. A box appears and you have to look for the shutdown option and take your pointer there. Then using your mouse or touchpad click with the left button and this will make your computer shut down. In today's class, we have all learned how to type in an MS Paint file. You also learned how to use backspace, delete and the arrow keys. Also, today we typed out names of fruits, numbers and objects. Thank you.